Welcome to Mark Reed 757. We'll have a lot to go over today, uh, mainly about the Fitbit, and obviously it's way in Wednesday, so let's get into that. Uh, last week I was at 424. I started this uh, journey back up at 434. Yes, I've started this journey again, but hey, the positive note, man. I'm, I'm actually getting to it. I'm getting at it. I'm making positive changes, and uh, I'm, I'm getting right to it, and I want to show more. Uh, in the past, I was like a little bit, you know, helter skelter. Anyway, I was 424 last week. This week, I'm 415. So that's another nine pound loss from the week before. Uh, the week, the week before, I had a 10 pound loss from that one. So altogether, 19 pounds in two weeks. I'm super excited about that. Uh, I'm getting more details uh, like this. This time I'm going to be posting pictures, especially about the Fitbit. Um, here's some of the features of the Fitbit that I've ran into for having it over a week now. I'm pretty excited. Let's see, we have uh, the main picture. Uh, when you open up the app, it shows you like what you're doing. So you'll have what's called in the zone minutes. So, you know, that's something to strive for. You have steps, uh, how many steps you've uh, accumulated, how many floors you've done, um, how many miles you've walked, and also how many uh, calories you're burning. And the calories are pretty cool. You know, they, they go by what you burnt during exercise and they go by what your body weight is. Uh, there's also some other cool features like your sleep and they have like some other goals to go for. Anyway, let me do go into that a little bit. Uh, your active zone minutes. You know, you'll have some active zone minutes, and they say to go for at least 22 a day. Now, your active zone minutes is mainly when you're exercising, so you're not really going to pick those up during housework, potentially, but not generally. Generally, it's your walking, your jogging, your running, your swimming, your sports, and it's real cool because it'll actually show sports. It'll show walking. It'll show swimming. Like I've, I've used this for swimming and I, I thought it was great. Um, let's see here. Uh, we got the calories. They, they show how many calories you're burning. And like I said, my calories are going to be a lot higher than most people because I am a bigger person, you know, over 400 pounds. So naturally, I pretty much burn over 4,000 just being me without any exercise. And as you can see, my calories have gone up. Uh, you know, I mean, I've burnt so many calories that it's like over 6,000, even 7,000 a day. Uh, I'd like to try to get over 6,000 until I keep continually to drop weight. Obviously, it's not going to be realistic for me to keep burning 7,000, especially as I drop the weight. But for right now, I want to go at least 6,000, potentially 7,000 within a day. That's my goal. And that's another thing about the Fitbit. It's cool to have all these goals with this. Um, another thing they feature they have is your sleep. I, I love how they have give you like a little sleep scale. And it shows how long you've slept. So I can go back and look at it for like the past 30 days or even, even more. I'm not sure exactly how far back it goes. But it'll show you like your sleep patterns. Um, and I've been trying to go to bed around the same time. And then I, I set my alarm for 5.45 in the morning because that's when I want to get up. I get up and then I start swimming. And then I go to disc golf and then I go to eat and, you know, other stuff like that. Uh, let's see. They have uh, the distance that you've gone, how, how far you've uh, went in miles. So they keep track of that and they do that daily as well. And then there's... Let's see, uh, the heart rate. Your heart rate, it, it um, does your beats per minute, and it keeps track like all day long, and it'll tell you what your resting heart rate is. And as you can see, I thought it was really cool that I started off at like uh, real high, 76 or so is my resting heart rate, and I'm down to around 66 beats per minute. So that that's another benefit of getting healthier and eating right. And all that good stuff um 
the other thing is the steps you know it keeps track of how many steps you do and I, I like to try to get around 10,000 steps or more a day and if you remember the first screen which I'll show it to you again this was all these circles are like shaded in all uh, blue well when you start the day it's just a little circle blue that has like a white shaded in so the goal is to shade all those in during the day to say that you've had a productive day and you can adjust those goals as you see fit um, I really love my Fitbit I'm, I was so reluctant on getting one I figured oh no I can do it on my own I don't need that you don't need it you really don't but it has helped me tremendously to uh, have something to strive for you know I, I do believe having other people because I've had other people before but this is different this is like totally 100% individualized and you can adjust it accordingly and get your goals and reach them and then you know a, as you see you progressing you can make your goals a little bit harder to obtain as you uh, progress because obviously um, if, if I walk up a set of stairs I'm going to burn so many calories versus somebody that's already in shape 200 pounds and if they walk they would hardly burn anything it's like nothing to them where me it's like uh, uh. Uh, the other thing is with these last two weeks um, I'm able to do things a lot better than what I was able to do it was it was hard for me to even get out of bed and now I'm not I'm having little to no trouble getting out of bed Yes, I'm sore from all the working out I'm doing, but it's such a good feeling to be sore like that than to just not be able to do something because you've been inactive so long. So I, I switched binge eating and binge watching Netflix for binge exercise and binge eating right. That's what I've switched. Uh, as you can see, these are just a couple of my meals, and I want to show more of my meals uh next week I want to focus more on that maybe put a little bit of my Fitbit uh, stats and stuff but next week it's going to be like the food and a little bit of my stats and what my results were and what my goals will be uh, here's the one meal it's um, diced up zucchini and onions with a little bit of garlic butter sauce that you get out of uh, like a Papa John's or I actually use Hungry Howie's because I bought the kids pizza and they didn't use that sauce so I'm like heck I'm gonna throw it in there sure that adds on the calories but it made my veggies so tasty and I was able to eat them no problem in fact I loved them I'd like to do it again but I don't want to always have that sauce I'll just think of something else um, the chicken on there it had uh, teriyaki sauce I made it in the air fryer I took it from frozen to air fryer to make it like that and you can't really do frozen chicken like that any way else I couldn't put it in the pan the oven I could do the oven but I'd have to put it on real low and slow and wait the air fryer I just popped it in put it in 10 minutes flipped it over put another 10 minutes put a coating of uh, teriyaki sauce another three minutes put another coating on the other side for three minutes and then it was oh magnifical uh, then the mashed potatoes I just diced up some potatoes and uh, put them in some boiling water let them uh, go ahead and get ready where I could actually mash them and I have a hand wand one of them little hand blenders I use that to you know mash them up real good but I threw some Greek sour cream with ranch uh, not ranch dressing but it's the ranch packets that you can make your own ranch dressing and I threw that into the Greek yogurt the plain Greek yogurt instead of having sour cream that's what I used and then I put a little bit of butter in there because I didn't want to put too much butter and then I threw a little bit of Himalayan pink salt and I thought they were excellent in fact my two of my kids were eating it too the one ate it until he found out there was Greek yogurt. <laughs> Kids, you know. But yeah, I'm uh, pretty much very excited. 
down 19 pounds in two weeks and I my goal for next week is to focus more on my meals because I feel like uh, I had a slow start last week and I feel like it was partially because of my meals and um, plus I wasn't exercising to the point that I am now I was finally able to incorporate disc golf Woo! as you may have remembered in one of my other videos I my main goal was to be able to disc golf and I did not absolutely did not think I'd be able to do it this soon however I was managed to uh, be able to disc golf like the last uh, since Sunday so Sunday Monday Tuesday today, last four days in a row and it wasn't just a little bit amount I did 18 holes and then like 21 holes and 18 holes and 18 holes and I plan on doing it again continuing it tomorrow um, it's just such a treat I, I and I did well I couldn't believe I actually did pretty well I go a lot slower than I've done before it's a little more difficult but I'm able to do it and it's so much nicer to be able to disc off for me rather than to just walk the track because I was walking this flat track and it served its purpose but I do not want to walk that flat track to uh, get in shape enough in order to disc golf I want to just be able to disc golf I love it I enjoy it um, I'm out there and according to my Fitbit I'm burning way more fat than I did just walking that track uh, anyway that's my goals to get back at it and uh, concentrate more on the food and do maybe up the exercise just slightly a little bit or tweak it or add something subtract something you know keep continue to swim i've been swimming like 40 minutes on average of 40 minutes monday through friday and then saturday and sunday i take the uh swimming off but i still continue disc golf and walking anyway don't forget to subscribe turn the thumbs up blue and smash that notification button until next time I'm Mark Reed 757. See you later.